Last week I created a video called how I created six months of content in the morning with AI and automation. Some of the regular viewers of my videos asked me to go in depth on how I created the automation. So here we go. That's what I'm going to do. So if you remember what, if you've watched this video, what I've done is I've created an automation that takes a Google doc or any Excel doc, any spreadsheet of content. Here it is now with a title, category ID and a date I want to publish it. This then is run through this automation. So the Google Sheets are pulled, I send the content to OpenAI to create a blog post. I send the content to OpenAI to create an image. Then I push that to WordPress and I upload the media item and associate it with that blog post. So what I'm gonna do is break down this automation in depth a little bit more and show you exactly how I did everything. So first thing to consider is the content calendar. So what I've got is, I can't remember how many, 130 titles of blog posts to create. And then what I've done is I've put the category ID. So if I log into the back end of the site where this goes, wpdude.com, if you go to posts and then categories, and then if you hover over the edit button, you see right at the bottom of the screen, we've got an ID, the tag ID is 28. So in this case, you can see that's 28 as well. These blog posts, when they're created on the site, are going to be put into the category 28, which is general blogging. So once you've got your document in place, we can start building the automation. So I'm gonna build this fresh just to show you how to do it. So we're gonna log into make.com. That's the automation tool, tool I use. It's very similar to Zapier, but I think I found it's much more powerful. So what we're gonna do is create a new scenario and we're gonna add in those steps. So the first step is gonna be a Google Sheets. And we're gonna search for a row. And then it asks you to connect to your Google Drive. And then the spreadsheet, which is complete dude content calendar. And then sheet name is just gonna be sheet one. See there, sheet one. Does the table contain headers? Yes, it does. And then we're gonna set up the filter. The filter is going to be on the date, which is this one here. And then I'm going to paste in a little formula that says get the current date and put it in year, month, day, day. So, which is the format of the date on our spreadsheet. Yeah, 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 month, day. So what that does is it searches the spreadsheet for a, a row that has today's date. So hopefully that should bring back, it's the 12th, the 13th today, so that'll bring back how to leverage blogging for lead generation. So if we run this module only, you can see that it has pulled back how to leverage blogging for lead generation. Okay, so let's add another module, and this is going to be ChatGPT. And we're gonna create a completion. So when you first connect to OpenAI, you need to make these connections to the various tools that you're going to use. Um, obviously you need a chat GPT account and you need to use enable the API and you need to put some money into that so the API works. So let's select the method, we'll just go with that one, and the model will be ChatGPT4, I think it's that one. Actually, it's that one. It doesn't really matter, the latest version of ChatGPT will work. Then we need to add some messages. So we've got various messages here. Let me pause for a moment before we go any further forward. Before you actually put the 
prompts into Make, it's a good idea to go over the ChatGPT API playground and prove your prompts first of all. So what we're going to have is a system message which tells ChatGDP, I can't say it, ChatGPT what to do. And then we're going to have a user message which will be the title of the blog post we want to create. So what I'm doing is create a system message to tell it what type of blog post I wanted to create. So let me just grab it from my existing one and I'll show you what that looks like. I'll put this in the blog post so you can copy my prompt. So I've said, we're going to create a blog post. I'll pass in the title of the blog post. I want you to return the text. I've told it not to be too verbose. I found that ChatGPT can be a bit flowery with its words. So tell it not to be too verbose. It tightens it up and it gives it a much more, um, less wordy blog post in return. So I want it to return as HTML. So I can post that into WordPress directly and it's going to be passed into the WordPress REST API. And then some other points here that I found it was returning too much HTML. It was returning header and body. So I just wanted to return the core HTML. So I've said it's important. Do not include header or body information, only the content. And I also found it was wrapping it with these tags saying HTML. So important, do not wrap with HTML. So that gives us a nice little package bit of HTML we can post directly into WordPress. Like I said, you can have this prompt for nothing and copy it into your integrations. Then what I'll do is in the system, in the user prompt, just give it a, and as you can see, it creates just the content in HTML for us like that. So use the playground to prove that it's going to create the correct, correct content and everything looks good and then apply it to, uh, let me just copy that again, then apply it to your make scenario. So this is going to be the system prompt. Let's put my text in. I'm going to add another message. This time that will be the user one. And obviously we're going to get that from our title there. Just to go back a bit, let's just show you what I've done there. When you click into a field, it'll show you all the various uh, bits of data that are available to you. So it knows that there's this Google sheet and I can just plop the title out like that. So we'll just leave the rest like this. Everything else is good. There are various uh, parameters you can set to set the temperature, top P. I've not bothered worrying about any of those, to be honest. So let's run this through and see what we'll get out. So it's searching the sheet. It's going off to open AI. And there's our result. There's our blog post there. Okay, moving on. Next, we're going to go back to OpenAI again. I'm going to create an image. Let me just show that again in case I was too quick. So it's going to be OpenAI and we've got this option here to generate an image using DALI. I'm going to use Dolly three and then there's our prompt. Now let's go back to chat GPT playground. And this is the prompt I've been using. So create a featured image for a blog post. The image will be based upon the title of the blog post. And we're going to pass in the blog post title. Important. Do not include any text on the image or in the image. I've said that because chat GPT and Dolly have this weird, um, need to put misspellings of words inside of the images. It's very, very odd and I can't find a way to fix that. So let's just test this. Here's our, let's pass in that. Oh, 
Oh, it's confused itself. It's not. It still thinks it's creating blog posts. But never mind. I proved this anyway. So what we'll do is we'll put this prompt in here. Let's show the advanced settings. Now, I don't want a square image for my blog post. I want a rectangular one. So I've gone with that size there. I've gone with standard quality. So we can, we can go HD or just standard. And um, we've got various styles. I've gone with vivid. You could include in the prompt if you wanted it in a particular style. So if you wanted it to look like steampunk or if you wanted it to look like a particular artist, you can include that in your prompt. But I'll just let Dali get on its own merry way. And I want to return an image file. The options are return a URL, which you can download. That didn't work with a future process I'm going to show you. So I've said to download the image file. Okay, so let's run this again. So again, it's getting it from the sheets. It's creating our blog post. It's going over to Dali to create our image. It does take a little bit longer this process. Obviously it's generating a, an image from a blog post title. And then There's our file data. Obviously, it's it's PNG data, so you can't actually see the image. But in later processes, you'll see that it works as expected. So moving on, what we need to do now is create the blog post. So let's add a WordPress. We're going to obviously there's loads of options on your WordPress. So we're going to create a post. I've already create, connected to my Neil Matthews and my WP Dude site. So that's going to be WP Dude. So title, we're going to get that from our spreadsheet back here. Content, that's going to be from here. That's going to be that bit of content there. Type, it's going to be a post. Excerpt, we can leave that. Date, we can get from created here. Slug, we're going to leave. Status, you could have it sent as a draft, but we're going to publish it automatically. Format, standard. There's various things you can set here. So if you're just having a video post or it was just an image, let's just go standard. Parent object ID, don't need to do that. And then categories, we're going to map it. And this is where we map to our category from our spreadsheet back here. Author. Struggling to find them. There we go, Neil Matthews. Future media ID, we haven't got that yet. So we will leave that for the moment. Let's run this service again. So Google Sheets, create the post, create the image, create the blog post. So now if we go over to my site, now I know this is already run in production this morning, so we should have two posts with the same name. There we go. So it is 10, 36, 37 at the moment. So that's the one that's just been created. Obviously this run first thing this morning at 8.30. So it's created it. But if we view this one, no blog post, no featured image yet. Okay, final part of the process. Let's add the featured image. So again, this is going to be WordPress. We're going to look for the media section. We're going to create a media item. So we're going to map our data. And that's going to be not that it's going to be 
from here, the data, and then the file data like that. File name. Now this is took me a little bit to work out. So the DALI always outputs something called output one dot PNG. We can't change the file name there. And if we try to re-upload with the same file name there, the same file is overwritten. So every post was getting the same image in effect. So what I've done is create this little format. So we're going to call it output and we're going to call it today's date. And then we're going to have the execution ID. The execution ID is the unique ID of the current execution of this scenario. So that means we always have a unique file name for the file that we're going to send up to WordPress and it doesn't get overwritten. Uh, sorry, the same media file doesn't get reused all the time. Title, let's just grab the title from the spreadsheet again. Uh, alternate text, that's useful for SEO. So let's go for the title again. Description, we'll go for the title again. And then we need to set this, fe this featured image of a particular post. So what we do is grab the post ID from the process we created there. So that's the uploaded image. Let's go back to the start again. Oops. And run this puppy. No, I don't want to do that. I want to run the whole thing. So it's running the upload and passing that image up to WordPress. And then once that's complete, it'll assign it as the featured image of the blog post we created the step previously. And there it is. So if I go back to my post now, you should see I have three versions of the same blog post. And if I view this, there's my featured image. So I hope that's helpful to you. That's how I use make.com in association with ChatGPT's API and WordPress's API to automatically create blog posts. I'm creating one a day for the next six months. That took me about two, three hours to create last week. That saved me an awful lot of work. If you need help automating, integrating WordPress with ChatGPT or anything like that, do get in touch.